Alright guys, uh, sorry about last video, um, I actually had to go do something, but also, um, I ran out of space on my camera anyway, so it was kind of convenient, but, um, I haven't really done anything, so what I'm going to do now is, or what I've already done, is I've just pumped the shock up and down as much as I could, till there's no more air out here, what I was talking about last time, and, uh, what I realized is there's some breakdown with this shock. It's a little broken. Um, the bladder's messed up, so it's going to need a new bladder because it's squirting air and grease and shit everywhere out of here. And this bushing's messed up because if you look, that's way too much play. And if you give me a second here, I'll show you how else you can tell it's messed up. Give me a few seconds. Alright. First of all, listen to the noise this makes. And I'm pushing down on the shock shaft right now. Then look inside. See all those little bubbles? That's from the oil slipping in between that bushing and this outer tube here. And that's not good. It's basically got about 75% rebound abilities right now, so told the owner he's probably going to end up buying a newer used shock um, or we'll rebuild this. We're going to look online and see how much a new bladder is going to cost. I think total rebuild price for everything it needs is going to be right under around 100 bucks to get this all working. So we might be able to find a used shock for cheaper, you know. But what I'm going to do now is um, I had some air in here because I was playing with it. So I'm going to drain all the air out. And um, I'm going to pump the shock a few more times. Just in case, you know. Never be too safe. Give me a minute. Okay. Now for the fun part. First, I'm going to add a little bit more oil. So, you know just adding oil no biggie deal and next gotta get the uh... hold on give me a minute I'm gonna get the um... head seal down in there I'm just um... driving the bladder down a little bit to kinda lower the oil level a little bit so when we fill it it's gonna have better rebound seeing as how the can't put full pressure in the bladder, but... Okay. But, um... Let me bring it back. So, what you're going to see me do now is grease up this O-ring. And, uh... I actually have to go eat in a few minutes, but it's all good. I'll be able to finish this video. So we're going to grease up that O-ring, or not grease it, just oil it up. And we're going to push that seal down the shock shaft, which is going to be a little hard to do because this is such a tight fit on the shock shaft. And what I'm going to actually do to help put this in is, you can see me pushing down, and it's just going to slide right in. But if you put, since there's, even with the, uh, little bottom out bumper, this will still work, but I'm just going to put this down, and when I push down the shaft, it's going to help drive in this uh, head seal, um, that's if your head seal will actually stay, um, this shock is, you know, worn out, and the head seal doesn't really want to stay down in there when you pull up the shock shaft, so I'm not going to do that method, but I have done it on mine, because mine is a little bit newer. But what I am going to do is, the same thing with mine, is hammer this no part here on top of the head seal to get it to, um, you know, go down. <sighs> Actually, hold on. I was going to do that, but this shitty aftermarket head seal, the dust seal, gets in the way of this cap, which is not good. It doesn't really fit that good, so... 
I'm going to have to actually hold this up and use a punch to just drive this new head seal down in. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing. And if it helps, drain the bladder out every once in a while. And it'll make getting this head sealant a whole bunch easier. Just bang it a few times, drain the air out. Come back around, bang it in a few times, drain the air out. Bang it in, drain the air out. And this is going to help get it in. I have oil coming out the top here because I put a good amount in, which is good. Or you want that to happen. And now it's getting hard to get down in there because of that oil. You can see it splashing along everywhere. And just go around and keep banging it in until it's all the way in. It's going to take a couple good knocks to get it down in there, so don't worry. Get some air out. And this will go down a lot more easy. And you could tell when it's good, when you could see the little spot for the clip. You can see the recess in there. So now we get our brand new clip here and put that in. So, just open up this bag. And I'll lift up on these two damn things try and drop that clip in there and to get it in I just squeeze both ends and push down in you can see it's halfway in now and I just push down the rest of the way As you can see it's almost in I'm trying to do this one-handed so cut me a break but just push and it'll pop in um, yeah, I'm going to do this with a little punch here and with the camera down so I have two hands to do this. And you're just going to push it into your clip. I'm going to stop talking so you can hear it. See? That's all in. Now, I'm going to pull the shock shaft up all the way out and drain some air out of this again and then before I put this little cap back on I'm going to clean this out because there's a little bit of dirt in there so I'm just going to spray it with a brake cleaner and get it nice and clean real quick so bear with me for a couple seconds actually what I do is while there's brake cleaner on this shaft and on that seal that I just sprayed I'll pump it a few times to help seat that seal and you know you're gonna pump it and then pull it back out but you know, it helps clean that out a little bit and uh, let me get a clean rag real quick so I can clean this up and show you guys the next step before putting the spring back on and we're basically done you know this wasn't a very hard project it took me about total work time you know I took a few breaks but total work time it only takes about you know two hours maybe you know I could do it faster if I did more of them but hey that's pretty good and I've only done three or four so um, but next clean off that shock shaft and get this little cap that I was talking about. Make sure it's clean, and it is on the inside. And it doesn't matter where the holes are lined up at all. But we're just going to 
kind of get that in and then start banging it in with a hammer. And in two hands again, the stupid things in the damn way. And that's it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with a couple of pounds of air and check out the shock. So let me get my air compressor turned up. Uh, I'm putting about 80 in. And now watch. I'll put you guys on the ground so you can see how I test this out. So hopefully you guys can see this, but just take the shock and push on it. Then let go. It should spring out, you know, nice and slow. It may go a little faster depending on how much air you have. I should fill this up with a little bit more air so it goes faster. But basically what you're going to do is push it down all the way, push it down three quarters of the way. Keep doing that and check for rings. And you're going to want to do this a couple of times because there's still going to be oil inside that dust seal that's going to make little rings. So I wouldn't worry about it, you know, right away. But you'll see I'm still checking. And I'm going to clean it with a little bit of brake cleaner too, so don't worry about that. And as I look at this, it's not leaking. It's just um, giving off a little bit of that excess oil. You know, you could, you could tell if it's leaking. You'd see really, really big seals, and they'd be red with, you know, brand new shock fluid. These are dirty oily little things from the brake cleaner that's still on there. So it's good. Um, so that's the end of this video. The next one will be final touches and uh, yeah, so come back and see that video.